This is your typical wet system for fire sprinklers. Of course, this is your fire sprinkler head. On a wet system, there's water always available uh, on the system. From the riser, this is called a riser, your system riser. All wet systems have um, typical uh, components. You have your butterfly valve or your control valve. It's an indicating valve to where when you instantly look at this valve, you can see that it is open by this flag here. If it was turned over to the side, then it would be closed. If you look at it and it's up and down, it's open. You have gauges. Your system gauge is your top gauge, which that's how much pressure is on the system. Your bottom gauge is how much water pressure you have uh, coming from the city or your supply for the water. You have a main drain valve, which obviously you drain all the water pressure off of the system. <clears throat> you have a water flow switch. This switch activates the fire alarm system and lets everybody know that a sprinkler head broke or there's a fire in the building. So if a sprinkler head breaks due to a fire, water will flow and there's a flapper in here that opens up and lets this switch send the signal to the bell. The other alarm switch on there is the tamper switch, which is in the control valve. And as soon as you turn the valve two turns, you can hear in the background the fire alarm go off. That lets somebody know that somebody has tampered with the valve or closed it. As soon as it is opened back up, the alarm goes back to normal. When you're testing a wet system, you Test it by opening the main drain. And you start letting water flow. And you watch your gauges to see how far the water pressure drops while you're flowing the water. Typically let it run for around 30 seconds. Make sure that the water pressure doesn't drop all the way down to zero to make you know sure there's no valve closed anywhere. Remember when you're shutting down anything on a sprinkler system, you don't you don't just slam the valve closed, you actually have to ease the valve closed or water will hammer against it. All right, now we'll go over to the inspector's test and set the fire alarms off. All right, this is your inspector's test for your wet system. Uh, we, this is where we're gonna test the alarm to see how long it takes for the fire alarm to go off. Um, it's typically at the end of the system, the farthest remote area. So this is your inspector's test and we're gonna flow it until the alarms go off. Once the alarms are going off, again, easily close the valve.